Mr. You Like That, Kirk Cousins, is going to the Atlanta Falcons. The Giants picked up Brian Burns. Leonard Williams goes to San Fran. Saquon to the Eagles. Moves are being made left and right. But we got to get into our teams because, you know, we like to uh, talk about our squads. And I, I'm not going to go first. I'm going to go to this guy, Mr. Uh, was it black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. You know, uh, there was a quarterback that uh, got paid uh, an entire island to come to Denver and then mm-hmm. got yelled at like he was a five-year-old kid. And they left him. And so they decided that we don't want him anymore. And you guys said, oh, we'll pick up your leftovers. The Steelers sign Mr. Let's Cook, Russell Wilson. Uh, sir, how, how are you feeling, man? How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, so Steelers Nation, uh, Let's Weld, apparently, is the running joke. <laughs> so cool. But, yeah, essentially the Broncos are paying for us to have a starting quarterback for a season, which is great. I mean, he's on the literally the veteran minimum, and he comes in here, and he had a pretty good season last year. He went seven for eight, 25 touchdowns to six interceptions, so he doubled Kenny Pickett's um, touchdown thing with, uh, you know, less games played and also threw less interceptions, so that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what really to say. I mean, Russell Wilson is kind of the most, like, lukewarm player we could have signed, and just like, oh, yeah. okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what to. I don't know what to expect. Was it Denver the problem? Was Russ the problem? Was the situation just not there? Is just Denver a place where quarterbacks go to die now? Because that seems to be how things kind of shake out. Uh, hmm. And now he gets to come here. He has the greatest head coach in the AFC North. Yeah, yeah, I can say that. That's yeah. not Nate Kevin wait, Stefanski wait, 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 or John. Wait Harbaugh. a minute! Wait a minute! Time out! Time out! I seem to remember three or four months ago somebody was saying, "Get this coach out of here," and now he's the greatest yes. in the in the division. What? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. We made the playoffs, so it it erases <laughs> all blame on Mike Tomlin. No. Yeah, it, it happens. Like it it know, happens man. every year. <laughs> I'll see you in week eight of next season when he's going to be fired again. I mean, it's it's, gonna be, it's the endless I cycle. It. I get it. I get it. We start the season really hyped up. We're going to Super Bowl by about week eight. We want our head coach fired because we suck, and then we make the playoffs and lose. I mean, it's just the Steelers. It's just it's the formula. Why would we break the formula? Um, but yeah, let, let me let me say this. Let me ask you this because this this kind of seems we're in a similar situation, and I feel for Kenny Pickett. You come here. You have Matt Canada as your offensive coordinator. You had no line. You had diva wide receivers. You never get a fair shot. And then all of a sudden, you get a new OC. You finally start doing good. And then they bring somebody else in. I mean, what, 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 what's going to happen to the Kenny Pickett story? Is he, is he out now? Uh, no, no. He's, he's the starting quarterback uh, two years from now or next year because I'm pretty sure Russell Wilson here, – here, there are two things that happened. Russell Wilson sucks and we put Kenny Pickett back in. Or Russell Wilson balls out and we cannot pay him the money to keep oh, him well, around. Okay. <laughs> and then Mason Rudolph will be back. Mr. Helmet. Let's go. No, Mason Rudolph's already gone. He's already gone. No. He's probably going out of New England, maybe. Yeah. No, now no. they got percent. Everybody is. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, starter. You want him? You want him? Uh Jacoby. Jacoby. Yeah. I miss him. What so what else happened in uh in Pittsburgh? Uh, we, we, we made a great signing, one of the greatest signings. Uh, we signed a uh, former Texans punter, uh, Cameron Johnson. Uh, the joke was, among me and my friends today, we were all watching Twitter, and we were all sitting in class uh, doing class mom, swear, not looking at NFL <laughs> Twitter. And we were all kind of joking, and I kind of chimed in, and I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure the Steelers are going to make one move today, and it's gonna, we're going to sign a punter. And sure enough, we made one move today, signed a punter. Bet on it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, all of my friends were excited because they either signed, uh, I don't know, signed Christian Wilkinson to a deal um, so that my fr- Raiders friend was happy. And then my, mm-hmm. my 49ers friend was just happy that they didn't lose anybody, you know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, Steelers signed a punter. Thank you for uh, Adam Peters, 49ers. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I was just kind of watching the chaos unfold because it, it, I, I feel for the, the Sauce Gardner tweet today where he said it feels like I'm looking at a Madden simulation, and I'm like, yes. yeah, that's kind of how yes. this feels. Yes. Yeah. The NFL, so, college, yeah. everything is just wishy-washy. No loyalty. Everybody's going everywhere. 